Welcome to Shreveport, Louisiana, home to the 11th oldest bowl game in college football, the Radiance Technologies Independence Bowl. While this game caps off the regular season, how that season is remembered will be impacted greatly by what happens in this game. As we'll see a squad from the AAC, the Navy Midshipmen, taking on a team from Conference USA, the Middle Tennessee Blue Raiders. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. Kickoff team is out there ready to get this bowl game underway. Looking for an alley from inside his own 20. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. So the Middle Tennessee Blue Raiders offense will have the first possession of the game. And these guys involve everybody in the passing game and none more prominent than this big fella. The quarterback knows he's going to be under duress in this game. So who do you look for? The tight end. And there aren't many better than this guy. No, and just big bodies that you can miss a little bit high and it really doesn't matter. But over the middle of the field, closer throws, so nice to have a security blanket with a great tight end. Right back to the well. A collision, and he stopped at the 27 after picking up one. Third down conversions, always a huge stat. And they've got a third and long from the 27. Looking for a man, it's Battiato. Looking to buy time. Quarterback tried to scramble around for a while, but the defense able to bring him down. Well, that defender just was better in his one-on-one -on, -one on the pass rush. He does a great job beating the offensive line when he gets to the field. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. No fair catches here, looking for room. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. So Navy's offense will go to work for the first time today. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job of it. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. So the offense will decline that penalty after the big play. Defense has dominated the early part of this game, and the stats point that out emphatically. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. Looking to move it through the air. Oh, he's going to go up top. And it was worth the gamble, but the long pass is incomplete. After the misconnection, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. Complete downfield. They make the stop at the five-yard line, and they've got it first and goal. On the defense, I gotta find a way to get some more pressure on the field back or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. I gotta be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. Unleashes to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Navy! And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the score comes on a five-yard touchdown pass. On the move from inside his own 20. Buys well, just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. Let's see what the Blue Raider offense can get going. 
This late in the half, you're behind. You'd love to create something before the break to build momentum, Jesse. Well, you've also had some miscues on offense, a big part of why you're losing the game right now. I'd take it into halftime, make my adjustments, and come out ready in the second half. Yeah, I'm going to take it into halftime too, Paul. But I'm trying to put some points up right here. Be aggressive, set the tone, be like, hey, listen, this is what you're going to get in the second half, so find something really quick that you can go to. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. This offense has a second down play. To throw, it's Fatiato. Fires to the right. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Going to try to get it himself. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He's got it. He'll be brought down, and that's the final play of the half. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Reese, I myself have been in Shreveport to call the Independence Bowl. What a fantastic experience, and we've had ourselves a fun first half. Got things teed up and just about ready to go here in the second half. And he takes this from inside the five. He gets a block. This guy makes you hold your breath when he gets the football in his hands. And that last line of the coverage team, the only thing that stopped him from housing it. Offense set on first down. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Grabbed in the middle. It's Kent. Hauled down at the 38-yard line and a big pickup of 15 yards there. The defense going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. Going up top on first down. Fires to the right. That is just a sideline play. Throw, catch, toe drag, everything you want. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. Down to the 18-yard line. It's first and 10. Fires into the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Ben Shipman! Did not take long to get into the end zone. Now let's see if this gets this offense to hit overdrive. We may have a situation here. We might have points, more points, and more points. You keep putting drives together like that, that quickly chewing up that much yardage. Defenses are going to have to get something to get out. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point makes it 14 nothing. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the finisher, an 18-yard touchdown throw. Just about set to kick it away. From inside the 20, chance for great field position. Buys just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. The Middle Tennessee offense will go back to work. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven-point game. So, Paula, no need to pay. I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. You go down, score, all of a sudden your defense gets... And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. And this offensive line's got to do a better job. Man, you've got to protect your quarterback. Listen, this offense is not playing great. they got to somehow find a way to start to get something together here in the second half. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. He'll try to do it himself. And he'll avoid the tackle there with a slot. At the end of the quarter, Navy has the lead. They built a comfortable lead after three quarters of play. Let's take a look at how we got here. Down by multiple possessions, you can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. And the defense has it. They're going the other way. 
Great job by the defense ending this ball game. Don't give them any life. Great job forcing the fumble. You already got the lead. You take the ball back with a little bit of time. Nail me, Colton. And the midshipman offense making its way back onto the field. Firmly in control of this game. We'll see if they just try to run out the clock and get out with a victory. Everybody on offense here should feel really good about their performance today, too, David. They had a really good game plan coming to this one. They went out and they executed at a very high level. Yeah, lights out, and this game's over. I'm interested to see the philosophy now. Do we keep chucking the pill and keep trying to score points? Because it's the defense's responsibility to stop them. Or do they just run this clock and say, all right, we did enough today. We kicked them in the face. And they probably don't need to risk running a play here, but the head coach might want to rub it in just a little bit. And that ball is live in the backfield. Oh, look what I found. I'd say that's a stroke of good fortune. The offense keeps it. They've pushed it ahead to the four. They'll try to cash in on second and goal. To the air, it's Horvat. Going for six. And he was looking into the end zone, but it's incomplete. And that's just a huge missed opportunity on offense. QB missed his guy wide open in the end zone. You might not get another clean look like that in the rest of this game. And he was trying to pay off this red zone opportunity, but it's incomplete. And here comes the field goal unit. And if they can make this and turn it into a three-score game, they'll have this one all but locked up. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. And they'll push that lead down a little further. order of business here. Don't give up a big return. Then the defense just has to keep them out of the end zone. From inside the 15, here comes the return. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. They'll get things started on this drive from the 24. They try to pop a run on the draw. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. The throw falls incomplete. And here we go. Final play of the game right here. On third down, he drops the throw. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. A strong, methodical, workmanlike effort from this team. No frills. Just get the job done and get the win. I love when you describe my teams like that. Just consistent, you know, methodical, strong. I don't have to do things special every single week. All I'm supposed to do is get the W, and that's what they did. And this is why practice is so important, guys. You can tell that this team was locked in way back earlier in the week. They watched the film. They got good looks in practice. They knew what to anticipate. They knew what looks they were going to see. And when those looks presented themselves, boy, oh, boy, did they ever take advantage. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.